I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Saar Yoskovitz. He is co-founder and CEO at Augury. Saar, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Now, before we get started, just a quick note to our viewers. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. Okay, so Saar, tell me, how is Augury helping the global industrial manufacturing sector adopt AI to become more resilient? So at Augury, we work with the largest manufacturing and industrial companies to make their production lines and, and the machines they operate more reliable, more productive, and more sustainable. And we do this by providing prescriptive insights into the mechanical health of the machine, as well as what is that machine doing? Is it is manufacturing quality product, as an example? We have a full stack solution, right, where we have our own hardware and sensors that we put on the machines. Okay. We send the data to the cloud where we analyze it using advanced AI algorithms in order to tell you what's wrong with the machine before anything happens. So in a recent example with the largest uh, food manufacturing company out there, we were, we were able to help them avoid thousands of hours of downtime due to failures that never happened. And that, is, that equals millions of pounds of food that we're able to manufacture. Okay. At the same time, we reduced their waste by 45% and increased their energy uh, or optimized their energy consumption by 6%. Okay. And this is substantial impact, not only for their business, but also for the environment and, and society at large. All right, so show me this sensor. Yeah. It's rather small, so that just goes on um, pieces of equipment? Yeah, so this, this sensor picks up vibration, temperature, and magnetic emissions of a motor. And we can cover both the mechanical side of the machine as well as the motor and the drive, the, the electronics. And basically every rotating, uh, rotating machine on the production line, we can tell you what's wrong with it. So, Sar, tell me, in what ways is Augury helping manufacturers quantify their ESG objectives? Well, these companies for the past century or so have been faced with a dilemma, right? I can focus on productivity and profitability, but it comes at a cost, right? It comes at the cost of the planet and the environment or the people in the workforce. And we believe it doesn't have to be a zero-sum game anymore, right? By leveraging technology like ours, we can become more profitable while reducing waste and upskilling your workforce. Now, if you take a step back and look at the bigger picture, uh, out of the total energy consumption in the US, 54% is in the industry. And out of that, 30% is rotating equipment, motors, basically. And we have a, a direct opportunity to impact 4% of the global uh, energy consumption. Now, on the other side, ESG is not just environment, it's also social, right? We're seeing a, a, a shift in the market where it's really, really hard to find qualified manufacturing uh, talent today, right? How do we pull in the next generation of, of workers? We have to change the marketing perception of what manufacturing work is, right? We're leveraging new tools, new technologies, working with AI, and that's the only way to really usher in the, the next generation of, of workers into this field. All right, so tell me, what does the future look like for the industrial manufacturing industry? So we're, we're an interesting time, right? Um, coming out of the pandemic, we've seen supply chain disruption and, and between geopolitics and, and pandemics and, and whatnot. Um, I think the understanding of the impact that supply chains have on the larger economy is huge. At the same time, we're seeing the CHIPS Act and the Inflation Reduction Act call for bringing manufacturing back to the US, back to Europe. And it's just not feasible without working smarter. So if you look at the, the difference in wages between you know, the Far East and, and a place like the US, it's very hard to replicate the same ways of working and expect it to be profitable uh, for us here. So you have to leverage technologies to be more productive. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Sar, it's wonderful to see you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thanks for having me.